Is that the first question? Oh, I'm not on the top 10 hottest uh, league player list because uh, that's not uh, my interest. My interest is being uh, the best player that I possibly can be and uh, doing more than 4k damage every game, unlike Trashy. Uh, I mean, firstly, playing at Worlds was a great experience because they are all generally better players than what I play against in Europe. Uh, it's, of course, the, the best players from I would con like consider best players from every position almost that goes to Worlds. So uh, I learned, I basically like just learned how to play my role at a higher level in general. And then I also learned a lot about like how they, they think going into the game, like what they do in certain scenarios. But of course the meta is different now than it was at Worlds. So it's, it's, it's always changing, but I feel like I grew a lot as a player and I just learned from a higher level of competition than what I'm used to. I think a great top laner is, I mean, the first thing you look at, of course, is like how I measure it mostly is laning phase, because I don't know what really goes on within the team, like TP plays and, and rotations and stuff like that and calling in the team. So, of course, the easiest way to measure a good top laner or a good, a good laner in general, I think is laning phase. And then, uh, of course, if, if he doesn't know how what to do in team fights, if he just runs into the back line and dies instantly, of course that's a bad thing as well. But uh, I would just say laning phase mostly, and then probably like team fighting, or if he if the person doesn't split push or group up when he's supposed to, like either. Or, I think in a perfect situation, it's kind of hard to find advantages. It depends on matchups as well. I feel like. Uh, if I'm playing against a really good player, it's hard to find advantages. It's mostly uh, team play that that gives you a, a, a decent advantage. I feel like in competitive play, it's mostly like TPing uh, to bot or something and diving or setting up a really good dive for your jungler or something like that. It's really hard to get on your own when you play against really good uh, top laners, but against like mediocre or, or bad top laners, it's mostly like uh, wave manipulation and and making sure that they are forced to make a mistake at some point but it's hard against good ones as i said so i mean preparation before a game is mostly depends on what team you're playing against i feel like it's just we go into to the day and and we we have some picks prepared we have a, a certain draft in mind that we have or like two or three different ones that we have kind of experiment, uh, experimented with th uh, throughout the entire week. And then we go into the game and we, uh, we try to strive for the best draft possible. And during the game, I think it's just uh, playing as we have uh, tried to do the entire week, playing like we did in scrims and stuff like that. I think that's the most important. In Dignus SEU, when we were in Challenger, we we didn't really have like a lot of backing from our org because we were just a, a challenger team during that time. Challenger teams were just, it, it wasn't like as high of a priority as it is now. I feel like back in the days, it, the salary wasn't that high. We were, people were just playing challenger to, like it was just mainly a group of friends getting together and then you play, play challenger because you are at a high level individually. and. Uh, from the organization when we moved to Splice, we didn't really know Splice either. That was follow esports when we got picked up, but uh, they had like a lot more staff and a lot more backing and trust in us to perform and like a lot more weight on, on our shoulders to com compare to when we played in Challenger. So that's the main difference. I mean, thank you for watching the interview and uh, I hope we can uh, we can win <laughs> win the EU at some point. Not more. For more league interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.